What's up everybody, I'm Slot the Movie Guy and here's my movie review of Ma, directed by Tate Taylor, stars Octavia Spencer and the rest of the other cast and crew. And in this film, a lonely woman befriends a group of teenagers and decides to let them party at her house. Just when the kids think their luck couldn't get any better, things start happening that makes them question the intentions of their hosts. I didn't really have like any like anticipations for this film. I mean, when I saw the TV spots, the trailers, and then saw Terry Spencer, that immediately made me get interested. And Terry Spencer is like one of my favorite actors in Hollywood. I think she was great in Hidden Figures, Shape of Water, and other films. So I was like me, like saying, "Okay, I, I'm, I can watch. Let me see this movie. See how good it is." So, and it was a horror film. So. I like to see a good horror film, so I was going to move theaters, not with high expectations, like I said, not like no anticipation for the film. And as I looked at a move theater, what I think about the film is it's fine. It's okay. It's not the best film of 2019, and I'm saying that there's some there's some good parts of this film. And I get those, and there's some issues with the film, which I definitely get to those. Let me start off with the good in this film. Style and tone, I thought was fantastic. The tone, that could have went, I thought that could have went south, but here, hey, two thumbs up. The, when some of the fun stuff happens, like with the kids, the part stuff, and then when it gets switched to the serious part, it works fine. The tone, fantastic. Style, I thought the style was great in this film. I liked the style of it. It really, like, felt it was good. Fantastic. Give those two thumbs up. Now you talk about the part that really makes this film good. Octavia Spencer. Get out of the way. Boom. She was amazing. As this psycho, creepy woman, so like that the let the teenager part party at her house. She was fantastic. I mean, she really did a fantastic role in this film. I mean, every scene she was in, I just was immediately invested, especially they're giving us a backstory of her dark past and stuff. You can really actually get feel for this character and all uh, that. You can really like can see why she's like this. And as the film's going on, I was like, okay, I can buy into it. So I thought they did a fantastic job with writing this character and a direction with this character. So I think Spencer, you did it. You was fantastic in this film, man. I mean, she can't do no wrong. I mean, I'll. Yeah, I can see her do more horror films like this as, like, this main antagonist. I would really love to see more of her in it, man, in more horror films. She did a fantastic job. And that's pretty much word all the good stuff of about this film. That's pretty much it. The rest of the other stuff, it just kind of was a little disappointing. And the storyline part is the one that really disappointed me, especially... And I'm going to say it's like a complete disappointment. It could have been done a lot better. My thing was with this storyline is we get to know about her dark past and stuff and all that. And her inviting teens to the party at her house and stuff because it lines up to her backstory and stuff. I thought that really worked. But they could have added more substance instead of kids just going to like her house and every day they party and stuff. And then we see her kind of act like this this psycho creepy woman stuff and and that stuff that kept getting repeated over and over again in the storyline which is not bad it could have added some substance in there to make it more interesting but when it kept doing that same part it just kind of gotten boring and it just didn't keep my interest and it happens in the first and second act and that was kind of like okay we got it we I want to see something happen and that's what I was looking for Especially since this is like a rated R horror film and stuff with a psycho woman and stuff like that. I want to see stuff happen and it kind of like the first and second act. It kind of takes long just to get there until the third act comes. That's when the stuff happens. But the first and second act, it just, it takes kind of like, uh, takes time to just get to the good parts to it. And it just like, what I mean is it takes like, it's like basically like, her, like, like, basically, like, when kids, no spoilers, like, kids, like, having, like, phones and stuff, talking about, her, talking about Dr. Taylor Spencer's character, they, they talk about her and stuff, how this woman is and stuff, and it was getting interesting, but then when it gets, like I said, when it repeats the same stuff again, it just, like, got in, uninterested. 
And I really thought, and this movie to me had potential that could have been something more. And that was one of the parts at this point. What about the characters? There's two people I thought actually tried in this movie. Diana Silvers and Julie, Ju, Ju, Julie, Juliet, Lewis, Juliet, excuse, excuse, let me know if I said the name wrong. Juliet Lewis. I thought those two were absolutely, I thought they were great. In this film, for what the script was given, I thought those two were great. Other side characters, not so much. Luke Evans, I think, did fine in this film, and I think Luke Evans is a fantastic actor. I, I mean, man, it just they didn't give much uh, like did much depth to this character. I mean, a little bit was kind of like in there in the storyline a little bit. While I tell you, Spence character, but it just kind of like he was just like kind of like side note and stuff. So. It just the characters they didn't full like develop or like add them like and, and su substance to the story, and that just kind of was like a little bit disappointing too. So I just wish they kind of did better on the characters on, in the film. And just like with well, Octavia Spencer, they focus on so much on her, we just didn't get so much like with other characters, and that was just kind of disappointing. So I don't know what happened here. And this movie, like I said, it had full potential. This could have been like one of the best horror films with a psycho, creepy person. And I was really absolutely was shocked as while I was watching this movie. I was like, and then some of the disappointments that happened, I was like, this movie had full potential. That's just, man, why did it go for it? And that's where the rated R kind of kicks in here. This is a rated R film. I expected them to at least add some, some suspense stuff in here. Like, and it happened, like I said, it happens in the third act. But the first, second act, there was nothing like suspenseful things happen, which I wish they kind of tech used that part, like let stuff happen, especially with uh, Octavia Spencer's character. If they just let some of that stuff happen, like in the first and second act, especially like this with, with the horror vibe, that would have brought me in it, like make me get invested. I'll be like, woo, and gave me goosebumps. That's the stuff I look for. And that kind of like took so long. And that's pretty much it. Overall, do I really do I recommend this movie? If you're really looking forward to Octavia Spencer in this movie, I think you have a blast if that's what you're looking for. But if you're looking for like a complete like slasher stuff like that, and so in the film, you most likely will be slightly disappointed. And that was for me. I was kind of slightly disappointed with that. It, like I said, is this the worst film of 2019? No. It's just, this film was just, it was, I say, like I said, it was okay. It was slightly disappointed, and if you want to check it out, I say go check it out. Make up your mind. For me, I kind of say the film's okay, but it was slightly disappointed. I'm going to give this film a C. Let me know in the comment section down below what you think about this film. Did you like it or not? Let me know. And as always, if you like this video, click thumbs up. And if you're new to the channel, click subscribe and the bell button. That's why I can see you next time on Slide the Movie Guy. Peace.